Another momentum building win for England against Canada on the road to the Euros in the summer. Back to back 1-0 victories for England now over the Canadians. These two teams jointly rank seventh in the FIFA World Rankings. Most of the danger coming from the flanks in the first half across there from Ellen White. And a tough challenge from Carmelo, Carmelina Moscato for Canada. There was uh, plenty of sturdy challenges going in throughout this game. It was uh, builder friendly, but certainly competitive throughout. It was a first half though that lacked any real final product. Plenty of determined play, but uh, rarely was there a clean chance to shoot at goal. That was the best chance for England in the first half. Alex Scott, who was England's player of the match, getting forward from right back and overlapping and getting into the penalty area. She just wasn't able to find the far post here. And then when it came back for England, it was a relatively tame effort from Eni Aluku. But the threat was there. And as the game went on, it opened up as well. There was more space on the field. Jill Scott put in a really accomplished performance in the centre of midfield for England. And a lot of the threat was coming from range. Steph Horton's drive that time. And a half chance for Christine Sinclair, Canada's all-time leading goalscorer. That's as close as she came until the dying seconds of the game when she had another big chance, which we'll see in a moment. The threat from Scott coming forward again there almost squeezed the ball through to Ellen White. It was a, a constant pattern throughout the game. Alex Scott getting forward and causing Canada trouble. Nobbs came on and really improved England. She gave the crowd and the team a lift, fired over there. And then this was a big, big chance for Williams, but thwarted by the goalkeeper McLeod, who made an excellent stop. And then again, Ellen White could have finished off the rebound, but she would get her chance for retribution later on in the game. Really brave goalkeeping. And then Horton with another go from long range, this time from a free kick. McLeod there again. The two biggest chances of the game were still to come. This was Tony Duggan who had a shot that was skimming the top of the crossbar. But as the game went on, England were getting closer and closer and Jess Clark, another substitute who made a real impact and really gave England a spark. She was battling away. And uh, the three young players of Nobbs and Clark and Duggan combining to give England a real lift. Scott firing wide there. She couldn't mark her player of the match performance with a goal. This was Canada's best chance and it fell to Christine Sinclair. You would expect her to took them away, but it was a vital intervention by Alex Scott showing that uh, she was worthy of that player of the match award, not just for her attacking play, but for her defending as well. And then came England's goal in the 91st minute, driven in by Farrah Williams and headed home finally by Ellen White to give England another 1-0 victory over Canada. The shot was going wide from Williams, but it was superb predatory play from Ellen White on the edge of the six-yard box to get in the way and put her head on the line and give England the win. 